today's video, I am going to be sharing with you bidets. We're going to be looking at three different types of bidets. Bidets as inexpensive as $10 and all the way up to hundreds of dollars. I will share with you the benefits, its features, and in my opinion, if a bidet is even worth purchasing. So come along, let's go check it out. So the three bidets that we're gonna be looking at today, I actually own and have personal experience with. Okay, so let's begin by looking at the benefits of a bidet. Number one, it definitely produces a much thorough cleaning than just using plain toilet paper. Obviously with a bidet, you're not just wiping away, you're actually washing away. Number two, it's environmentally friendly. You will find that you use a lot less toilet paper which in turn hopefully means that a lot less trees will be cut to produce toilet paper in the first place. So definitely a lot less waste. Number three, it's cost effective, simply because like we said before, you'll use a lot less toilet paper. Number four, it's comfortable and gentle on your skin. For some people, if you are dealing with hemorrhoids or anal fissures, dryness, different types of issues, the last thing you want to do is wipe with toilet paper. A bidet is not only cleaner, but also a much more painless and hygienic way to clean your bottom. Number five, it's hygienic for women. Not only after the obvious bowel movement, but also while on a menstrual cycle. Number six, it's also easy to use for those with mobility difficulties. One can literally press a button or turn a knob and that toilet time concern is taken care of. Now, last but not least, number seven. They are a great alternative to a sitz bath. For some people, sitz baths are recommended several times a day. In all honesty, who has time to do that? Fill up a tub, sit in it four, five, six times a day? No one has time for that. A bidet can offer the same results in a much easier fashion. All right, so let's get into this. The first bidet we're gonna be looking at is a travel bidet. It's a really easy to use portable bidet, and that bidet is the Brondell Go Spa Travel Bidet. This is a super easy to use portable bidet that's absolutely perfect for traveling. It includes a discreet travel bag, the squeeze bottle, and a nozzle. The nozzle screws on and off and can conveniently be placed inside the bottle for a mess-free storage. It has a full-size reservoir that holds approximately 13 ounces. I have used a Brondell bidet on many occasions while on vacation, and I can honestly say it definitely works. Here you can see how the nozzle is discreetly inside the, uh, the bottle. We take it out. It's an easy twist on, so it screws on and off really easy. And on the bottom here, you can see the air pressure lock. This nifty little air pressure lock allows for a consistent spray after each squeeze. So let's go ahead and fill it up with some water so you can actually see how this works. All right, let's put it in position and give it a squeeze. And there you see the water coming out. It has an angled spray design specifically designed to spray at an angle for perfect aim. Now, obviously, it doesn't have as much pressure as a traditional bidet, but it's still pretty efficient and definitely reliable when needed. Now, the second bidet we're going to be looking at today is the Lux Neo 120 Attachment Bidet. This is a type of bidet that attaches to the back of your toilet seat. You do not have to replace your toilet seat or your toilet seat cover for this particular bidet to actually work. It's relatively easy to install and super simple to use. Let's take a look at the Lux Neo. The Lux Neo 120 bidet is a single nozzle, freshwater, non-electric mechanical bidet attachment. This bidet is one of the more simple types. It takes maybe about 20 minutes to install it. It does bring instructions, but don't fret if you start running into problems. There are several YouTube videos out there that show this same exact design, the same exact model, and how to install it quickly and simply. Now keep in mind, during installation, you do have to remove your toilet seat. 
However, this is not one of those super fancy types of bidets where the removal of your toilet seat would be permanent. You will be reinstalling your original toilet seat once the bidet attachment has been installed. Adjustable fitting plates allow the bidet to be screwed into place between the toilet bowl and the seat. Here you can see the hose that connects from the bidet. It then attaches to the water supply. This bidet does not require any electricity, so it is basically gonna work off of water pressure. Here you see the bidet completely installed. Now let's take a moment and look at the functions of the Neo 120. Here we got a close-up look at the knobs. I'm pointing here at the wash button, and here is the nozzle cleaning. So they have two functions here, nozzle cleaning to the right, and wash would be straight up and down. The wash function would be for cleaning your bottom, and the nozzle cleaning is pretty self-explanatory. It's exactly that. It is for cleaning the nozzle after you've used it on your bottom. Now the knob on top is for turning it on and adjusting the pressure. Without making too much of a mess, I would just wanna give you a sneak peek of what it's like once you actually really turn it on. And here it's just using very, very low pressure. However, it does and can get a lot more intense. Now keep in mind, if that water coming out of your bidet is way too cold, there are bidets that can hook up to your sink. If you have a toilet that's relatively close to the sink, you can use the sink as your water provider, which would then give you access to nice warm water. So here we're looking at the nozzle guard. And the function of the nozzle guard essentially is to just make sure that the nozzle is always clean and ready for operation. How do you keep that nozzle clean, you ask? Let's move it all the way to nozzle cleaning and then turn on the pressure. I usually go 100%. Now the third and last bidet that I will be covering today is the smart bidet. I think this bidet is considered smart because it has a lot more features and functions. This bidet has everything from seat warmer to temperature on water and even a dryer. Let's go see what the Smart Bidet has to offer. So here we are looking at the Smart Bidet. This system consists of the lid, the toilet seat, and a remote control. With that being said, this bidet is definitely more sophisticated than the last two we looked at. It does require full access, if you will, to your toilet meaning you would have to remove your original toilet seat and replace it with the smart bidet system in order for it to function. Another thing it needs for it to function is electricity. This bidet does run off of a power cord and you could see that here in the back of the toilet. Once you have it plugged in, the on button is located on the side of the toilet. As for the plumbing, it does need to connect from the bidet to your water line. This type of bidet has several different features, one being a slow drop toilet seat as well as a slow drop lid, which is really nice considering that a lot of the mechanisms are inside the seat itself. One of the features you can see right here, it says skin sensor. This toilet seat will not operate its bidet function without having skin touching the toilet seat. So you would have to have skin touching the toilet seat in order for the function to operate. So let's get more into this. This bidet works off of a remote control. For convenience, we went ahead and mounted the remote control on the wall near the toilet paper. Let's begin by looking at some of the features. Here we have the stop button. Next, we're looking at a posterior button. Now the posterior button basically aims the nozzle towards the back and that's why it's considered posterior. Next we have feminine, which would be aiming towards the front. The next we have turbo. Now turbo is kind of sort of like an enema. Um, it's obviously not as intense as an enema, but it does have a strong stream of water and um, it does kind of mimic that sort of thing. Now this bidet has a really exciting feature here and that would be the dryer. The dryer can be adjusted to temperatures, so it can be cool or warm. Now, if you wanted to be 100% toilet paper free, use the dryer. That would totally eliminate the toilet paper altogether. 
Another feature would be oscillate. When using this button, it would automatically oscillate the nozzle back and forth for a wider wash. So I'm going to go ahead and press the posterior button just to kind of get it started and go ahead and press the seat button. By pressing the seat button, you are basically adjusting the temperature on the toilet seat. You can go anywhere from no heat to warm and yet even warmer. Needless to say, if you live in the cold states, this is a fantastic feature to have during those cold winter months. Another fantastic feature to have is warm water. This is the water button, and basically you are adjusting the temperature here. Green would be no temperature whatsoever, so cold, and then it gets warm, and then you can go even warmer. Another very important feature is pressure, water pressure. So here you have the plus and the minus for the water pressure. Um, I've had my bidet for over four years now, and this button is the one that I think that we obviously use the most because that top plus button always seems to get stuck. But here we go. It worked this time. It went up. So, and it looks like the minus button <laughs> is also not doing too well. So this is what's happened to my remote control after four years. Those two buttons that are used the most are having a hard time turning on. Just being honest. Moving right along, these two buttons on the right side are for nozzle position. So you can bring the nozzle closer to you or further back using these two buttons here. Another important thing to remember are batteries. This remote control is battery operated and it does use two AAA batteries. So again, without making too much of a mess, I really want to show you the spray function on the Smart Bidet. I'm putting my hand on the toilet seat so we make contact with the skin contact. So now I press the posterior button and there comes the nozzle and here it goes. That's the spray. Now it would normally spray for an entire 60 seconds. It only sprayed really quickly because I stopped it right away. Now I'm going to go ahead and press the dryer button. I want to show you how this works. And there we go. It's drying away. And I'm telling you, this dryer works fantastic. You really do not even need toilet paper. So there you have it, guys. Those were the three bidets that I wanted to share and review with you. Now the question of the hour is, would I ever purchase any one of these bidets again? And the answer is... Absolutely, yes. After using a bidet for more than four years, I literally cannot picture my life without one. I can't even process the thought of having to go back to 100% toilet paper. I can't do that. To me, a bidet is a game changer. Not only a game changer, a life changer. If you are someone that is dealing with different type of personal situations in that department, and you know what I'm talking about, talking about hemorrhoids, fissures, uh, dryness, etc. A bidet is a life changer. Trust me when I tell you, it will completely improve your quality of life in that department. I have turned so many people onto bidets. I have literally given them out as Christmas presents, as birthday presents, and you know what? At first when they open the gift, they're like, uh, what is this? And after a few uses, they are literally thanking me. Not only do you save on toilet paper, that peace of mind, that peace of mind of a toilet paper shortage. When we were going through the toilet paper shortage, that didn't even phase me. I barely use it. The whole world is hoarding toilet paper and I'm not even thinking about it. So there you have it, guys. That is my honest opinion on bidets. If you like this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and even comment. Remember, things are not cheap. We as consumers need to know what we're getting into before we just go off buying products. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you at the next video. Bye-bye. I am not kidding you when I tell you that I would legit by a high pressure water gun before I went without anything at all, before I had to go back to 100% toilet paper.
that's not happening.